I put my burdens on the Lord, and he grants me peace. But he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. I trust that everything in my life is working for my highest good, and there is always calm after the storm. I see adversity as an opportunity to draw closer to God, for when I am lost, then I am found. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. I patiently and respectfully ask for divine guidance at this moment. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. I trust in him and fix my thoughts on him. God's power works best in my weakness. I have the anointing of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. He teaches me truth and empowers me to live a full life. I am aware of God working as my silent partner, guiding me towards him in good times and bad. Because I believe in God, trouble leaves my heart. God pours out his love into my heart by the Holy Spirit. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. My faith makes me whole in spirit, soul, and body. I have been saved, not by works, but by grace, so that I might do good works. I empty my mind of all thought, except for the thought of God. When I fix my thoughts on the Lord and trust in Him, God sends me peace. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. God's infinite love and grace is what gives me life. God is closest to me when I turn to him in sincerity with my burdens. I will give thanks to the Lord because his mercy endures forever. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. I am open.
open to the wisdom and peace of God as he guides me in everything that I do. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hadst a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hadst not denied my name. I will be strong and courageous, I will not be afraid, I will not be discouraged. For the Lord is with me wherever I go. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. In God will I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O God, I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? I live by faith not by sight. I follow God, no matter where he leads me. The same love that God has for his Son is in me. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. I am open to the healing power of the Lord. I am thankful for this day of connecting with God. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and shall trust in the Lord. In God I move and exist. I lay bare my heart and tell him everything that is on my mind. I wait on the Lord and am courageous. His will strengthens my heart. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I am one small part of the universal goodness that is God. God is my refuge and my strength, always ready to hear my troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, 
for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. God is the light that shines through darkness. He upholds me and lifts me from the pit. When I am alone with God, I find rest. I recover my forces. My heart renews. The eternal God is thy refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. For thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. The divine soul that God gave me is pure. The divine soul is imperturbable. The best thing to do right now, and always, is to put my faith and trust in God, and let him carry my burden. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. For I said in my haste, I am cut off before thine eyes. Nevertheless thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. I let go of fear, I let go of pain. I live in love by praying to God, knowing that he is loving me back. I am filled with peace as I ponder the vastness that is God. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. I am willing to be transformed by the renewing of my mind, affirming that God's will for me is good and acceptable and perfect. Lord, allow me to be filled with spirit, so that I walk in faith, filling me with peace and confidence. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Have mercy, have pity upon me, Lord, my rock my sword and salvation. I remember that I am blessed at all times by God. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known unto God. I know that God is always guiding me, and in darkness he is with me every step of the way. I can experience the joy of authentic service to God. As I help others, God fills me with grace. Good flows through me. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. 
I put my burdens on the Lord, and he grants me peace. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. I invite the pure light of spirit into my heart. God lifts me up when I am down. The divine spirit is omnipresent and guiding me. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. I pray and my heart is made light, as I fully trust in God's power to transform darkness into light. The divine spirit that God gave me is pure. I can trust that my deepest being is peace even when life around me is not. And the peace of God, which patheth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. He teaches me truth and empowers me to live a full life. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. The Lord hears my cry for help and delivers me. He sets my heart at ease. I am being made holy by God's truth. It is by the grace of God and his love that I am saved by my faith. As I give up control, Release my life to God and allow Jesus to live through me. God-sized things happen. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat? and the body than raiment. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, 
that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Jesus Christ is interceding for the faithful at all times. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. I leave the worries of past and future aside, and abide in God, and sense his guiding grace. I surrender all problems. I give all of them to God as he carries that burden for me. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even for evermore. I connect with spirits and peace fills my heart. He sees my predicaments for I dwell in God's house. I put myself in God's hands, in faith, who gives me strength, breathes life into me. Again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, behold. I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. My life bears fruit when I rely on God. The Divine Spirit is omnipresent all around me and guiding me, even when I don't feel it. I ask for forgiveness from all those whom I may have wronged, and forgive all those who may have wronged me. I set my heart and mind on the things above, not earthly things. This gives me peace. Who in the days of his flesh when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard. I never lose heart because God is good 
and always caring for me, whether I see it or not. God is in charge of everything, not me. Faith puts my heart at ease. I choose to believe in God instead of shouldering the burden. I choose a mind of faith because that is the way forward. God hears me most clearly when I find faith in despair. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants who desire to fear thy name and prosper. I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. The peace of God radiates through me, even when I do not feel it. I am not overcome. I am redeemed in the name of the Lord. My strength is renewed. Each day I am reborn afresh. The Lord lifts my heart when my flesh fails or grows weary. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. I cast all anxiety on him that is the rock of my salvation. Faith shelters me in storms, releases me from the pain of self-absorption. I believe God is always guiding me to my highest good. There is always dry land after the floods. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bands in sunder. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust in his saving help. My faith is what saves me from fears. The Lord is my sword and my shield. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. I put my burdens on the Lord, and he grants me peace. But he that trusteth 